call out if you feel any kind of discomfort. I will start yelping. All right, I'll set to do the Cheryl armor tutorial. What's this? A new upload. Hello guys, this is Alana from Common Cosplay, and today I'm going to show you how to make simple and amazing breastplates. Svetlana! Klick is mitken. Does anyone get the Jurassic Park reference? That joke was for three German cosplayers, is what that joke was for. So now I've actually shown you how to make the Cheryl armor, then people are gonna say that I'm ripping off Svetlana. That's, this is great. Why don't I just do shin guards? Is that okay? Has anyone done shin guards? I'm sure someone has done shin guards, but you know what? I got all this footage. Oh, nothing's original. What are you doing, Jake? I don't know other Jake. Ich weiß nicht. Oh, and just because some people don't get sarcasm or jokes, I don't have a beef with Svetlana. She does amazing work. Whatever. Here's the video. So the first thing you want to do is wrap your subject in plastic wrap. Pretty much up until this point, I've used tin foil, but if you use tin foil on a live subject, it's going to be incredibly uncomfortable. And if, you know, people are going to work with you again, you want to not make the experience uncomfortable. Once the subject was wrapped, I covered the plastic in duct tape. That took like three seconds to say, but... 30 minutes to do. Ah, oh, that means I gotta ramble. What else do I say? Uh, all right. Trying to make it super tight because if it takes longer than you'd expect, then you're cutting off that person's circulation for like that entire time. Plus, you know, they gotta be able to wear the end product and you don't wanna replicate a tight, uncomfortable fit. Wow, that's all the dialogue that I have for this. Uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Just. Wrapping plastic, wrapping duct tape. Wash, rinse, repeat. All right, let's check back in with the in-cam mic. Oh, that's that's your skin. Okay. Making one for the shells. Wouldn't that be great? That would be so Just cool. Having like those actual cannon. Oh, and I could do like a real cannon prop. See when that we get. That would be awesome. It would, but when we get into stuff that big, I really have to have a buyer or some viable way to make money. Because because it's such a time investment in terms of making it. Mm -hmm. After the initial wrap, go back and check for any gaps. I have to get to the other side. I can do something like that. Yeah, that works. That's okay. perfect. Yes. <laughs> yes. <right>. Do that. <laughs> I feel like Krieger in that one when they're doing the photo right. shoot. Film, 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 film. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that standard definition cathode ray tube television with built-in VHS. Living the dream. I mean, I don't want an HDTV in my workshop because it's a distraction. I'll just watch Winter Soldier on loop. We'll get any work done. Can I talk about that in the in-cam dialogue? Hey, let's check. This would be a great way to do a um. Winter Soldier arm too. Yup, there it is. I gotta consume some new media. Like in terms of making a prosthetic? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. You almost, this could almost be like a budget way of doing that because it sort of works. Right, I can see that. Okay, if you wanna just go back around to make sure I, I got the other side. Uh, oh, right there. Next I drew cut lines and registration marks is what I should be doing, you dope. And I began to cut away the tape. That noise in the background is a dog. Hey buddy, hey, how you doing? There's a shipping label stuck to me and I have no thumbs. What do you think? You know, I actually, I want the seam to be on the back of this, cause, so mm -hmm. could you? That may be easier to cut too. Yeah. Than, than on the... Shin. Be extremely careful when you do this and make sure you have an immediate line of communication with your subject. I mean, just make sure you're on the same page. Call out if you feel any kind of discomfort. I will start yelping. Been in situations where my hand has been stuck in a closed car door for like 10 seconds because the person who did that on accident just couldn't understand my accent. So you, you don't want to be in a situation where their version of, oh my God, I'm in so much pain is wincing and silence. I was gonna say, and then like, I feel like if I, when there are moments of discomfort, if I just like make my skin taut, that, yeah, that helps eradicates a lot. it. Whoops, I forgot to do some registration. There it is. Do that, that's just so that it lines up. Yeah, it told you. I mean, at least I figured that out before it went past the point of no return. I mean, you've seen me build the helmets and things, so you get Yeah, no, I, I, I know what you're up to. I know what you're up to. What's your game, Vitruvian man? <laughs> okay, wait. there we go. You Hooray. Wait, wait, there we go. Aha. You're free! free! No, that's fun. <laughs> Very ridiculous, but fun. yeah, <laughs> I love my job. So that's, I mean, that's awesome. Like that, you are able to build something out of you know what is like household household goods. Yeah. Next, I transferred that to cardboard. Oh, and hey, look at this amazing cutting mat. 
Wouldn't that have been great for the first half of the video? Uh, thanks patrons who helped me buy this as well as the bird's eye camera mount. But that camera mount alone allows me to shoot these videos way fast. Still takes forever to edit, but you know, one of the things that has been slowing me down has just been eliminated. So thank you guys. It's like a huge backlog of footage. If you're not a patron, then you can help out by following the link in the video description below. Patron contributions help streamline the videos and allow me to make higher quality content. Not to mention you get the videos a little bit early. You don't have to deal with pre-roll ads. You know, little perks. All right, now it's common practice to close the form back up and then stuff it to make a dummy appendage. And I'm all for that. I was gonna do that, but then I decided against it because in my opinion, a flat template takes up way less space, which in the past has been extremely convenient for me for storage and transportation because a lot of times I'm called out to location and have to fit my entire prop making kit into a little cart. Plus I don't have to have that awkward conversation with new house guests who don't know me as to why there's random appendages everywhere. I mean the foam dummy heads probably don't help, but let's try and keep the serial killer red flags to a minimum. Just, just manage it. To account for the three dimensionality, I'm gonna have to cut a dart into the middle. Okay, so I miscalculated here. I actually am gonna have to cut down the middle here for this to work right, just because of the way this wants to curve. So let's do that. This means I'm gonna have an inner and an outer, outer leg piece. This is what happens when I try to live script. Okay, so it's all taped down. I'm gonna trace it now. I left most of the dart in there. Uh, I was gonna cut one here, but the, see the two pieces, they wanna overlap, which is impossible to get out of foam. I don't know, I mean, it's malleable. I should be able to get that much out of just, you know, manhandling it. A lot of this is just evening it out. All right, so this first template is a template for a whole leg, but the armor piece that I'm making cuts off just above the kneecap and then swoops way lower in the back. Not to mention, I think the very bottom of this is like the top of her foot and that would get in the way of shoe motion. So I'm gonna trace it again and from this original leg template, I'm going to get the armor template. That way I haven't destroyed my original one and I can use it in the future if she wants like space armor. So you can't just flip that side for the other side because people's legs are different and if you were to do that you wouldn't have the opposite side of that leg you would have a mirror image side of the opposite leg if that makes any sense this this is a mess luckily it's such a large surface area that it's not quite right I can just kind of I can easily modify it so I also have to give this dialogue about how to get the other leg you would just flip it <laughs> and I realized this is her right leg. Man, come on, wake up, Jake. Once I had that template, I transferred it to foam and then decided that floor mats were too thick, at least these floor mats. I considered using roll foam, but every time I've done that, that diamond pattern uh, on the back somehow shows through. And I don't mean like transparent, I mean you can see a bunch of crisscrossing ovals, even through a paint job. That happened when I made the flamethrower. I mean, you could use that foam, but it's gonna be too tight, it's not as flexible, and it'll just look chunky, you know? So instead, I use craft foam sheet. This means that I'm going to have to put extra seam lines in, but they're going to get covered up by the final layer of detail at the end. Hey, can you tell I just read every tool a hammer? So I did this one off camera first just to see if I knew what I was doing and eh, kind of. Uh, honestly, I wish I had put this a little bit further down because it would have made more sense, but it had to be there somewhere on that just so that it goes above that part of her leg so that it doesn't slide down. Normally you would leave this open and you have a strap, but honestly, I, I think it'll work. To get the left leg, you just flip it, cut it out, label the pieces, because in this case there's eight parts that look very similar. Well, half of those eight look very similar. So you have to take precautions. I mean, I have to take precautions because I think I wrote on the duct tape template that it was the left leg and it was not the left leg. I don't know what I was thinking. I cleaned up the edges with my rotary tool, then I heat formed them, then I lined up the registration marks, and then I cemented them together. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if this is gonna work because I uh, waited like 30 seconds longer than I should have. This worked perfectly. I may want to reheat it a bit just to just for all the parts to even out, uh, but I definitely want to cover this with a layer of thin foam just to cover the seams. Oh, you know what? This could also double as gauntlet armor. Okay, so I'm overlapping these just a little bit because uh, this is gonna cut up to be sort of like straps. 
and the, the straps have to reach all the way around. I traced that onto two millimeter foam and then cut out that pattern. Then I prepped that for gluing. So I've marked out where I'm gonna glue just so I don't waste any glue. Sorry about the angle, but I had to prioritize getting out here in time and I did not factor in time to set up the camera, which is not the first time that's happened. Actually, I think that's okay with all that extra stuff. So now what I gotta do is I have to cut three little strap pieces. And for that one, I can just glue underneath. I carefully cemented the cover onto the shin guards. Definitely getting a gladiator vibe off of this. I'm like just at the end of when uh, I'm able to do this. A few minutes longer, I wouldn't have been able to. Okay, so I'm gonna briefly heat that up and then plasti dip it. When they dried, I coated the gauntlets, gauntlets, shin guards, sh I mean, you know, feet gauntlets. I coated them in plasti dip. When that dried, I painted them silver. Oh, and if you wanna fill in seams like that one in the kneecap, you can use quick seal. I didn't in this particular occasion because it literally takes a day to dry. The scene that we use this for, the shin guards aren't even in the frame. End scene. And that's how you make shin armor. And I was also able to use the same template to make these Jedi Stormtrooper forearm gauntlets because uh, her legs are, it turns out they're the same size as my forearms. Not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, I am. That's enough for today. I gotta go eat a whole sleeve of Oreos. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, feel free to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. I don't upload every day, so it's easy to miss stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.